Salman's influence on Indian writing is incomparable. It's like Tolstoy's on Russian writing. Our next guest is no stranger to attacks on freedom of speech. He is Salman Rushdie. In 1989, he was famously the subject of a fatwa by the Iranian Islamic Republic calling for his assassination. Within hours of the fatwa, six people had died, and in London, Salman Rushdie, then 41, was forced into hiding. I don't have certain fairly basic freedoms at present. But you know, if you have to, you have to choose, I think, in the end, whether you're going to get through something or not, and I decided I would. Several people associated with the book, translators and publishers in other countries who were easier to find, were attacked, some even killed. After a decade, though, in 2000, Rushdie moved to America, and he began going out, appearing in public. He took a very visible position as the president of Pan American Center, which champions freedom of expression for writers and human rights. The media glare of the fatwa became a way for him to use his power to promote causes that were not his own, but were in fact his own because of his situation. He is someone who cares about the community of writers. He started the Penn Festival, which is one of the best things happening in New York now every year. We were feeling that there was a kind of breakdown in communication between the United States and the rest of the world, and that at least at the level of art, the level of literature and ideas, we could do something to restart that conversation, to allow American voices to be in dialogue with world voices. Something about Salman is that he, he really is somebody who has lived his life in the time that I have known him without fear. He has been outspoken. He has been right by the side of other writers who are targeted, and that fuels the work of Pan America. A poem will not stop a bullet. A novel cannot defuse a bomb. Not all our satirists are heroes. But we are not helpless. We can sing the truth and name the liars. We can join in solidarity with our fellows on the front lines and magnify their voices by adding our own to them. More breaking news tonight after author Salman Rushdie was attacked at an event in New York today. Where author Salman Rushdie was stabbed by a man who stormed the stage. Not even a blade to the throat could still the voice of Salman Rushdie. We come together in solidarity. We come together for a celebration of life. 